Hello friends, welcome back to Guiding Tech and in this video we are going to talk about the OnePlus 60. Now the device was launched with a brand new Android Pi along with the Oxygen OS 9 and the combo of these two, this device brings in a lot of new features, tips and tricks and that's what we are going to cover in this video. So well, my name is Ashish, you are watching Guiding Tech, let's get started. So the very first trick is changing the fingerprint animation. Now OnePlus 60 comes with the in-display fingerprint scanning technology and with that technology there are some cool effects that you will see on the screen when you unlock the device using the fingerprint gesture. But if you'd rather have a toned down animation or if you just want to change them on a daily or a weekly basis, head over to the security and lock screen option in settings then tap on fingerprints and here you will find the option that says fingerprint animation effect and all you need to do is choose the one that you like the most. The next option is to enable the navigation gestures. Now these navigation gestures has been there on OnePlus devices for quite some time now. But with the update to Android Pie, you also get the pixel-like navigation gestures on your OnePlus 60 device. To enable these navigation gestures, head over to the buttons and gesture option and then tap on navigation bar and gestures. Once in, select the navigation gestures and you'll notice that a set of intuitive gestures has replaced the navigation bar. So from now on, depending upon the kind of navigation gestures that you have chosen, you can either swipe up for the home screen or just slide right or left on that particular bar to choose any of the recent apps. The next trick is to turn on the gaming mode on your OnePlus 60 device. And well, with the Snapdragon 845, yes, the fastest mobile processor, Right now in the market, you can play any game without any lags. And to make that experience even better, you can get uninterrupted gaming through the game mode that we just talked about. To enable that option, you can find the setting under Utilities, Gaming Mode, and here, just tap on the option that says Add App Buttons to Add Games. The next time that you launch a game, this gaming bar will automatically pop up and then you can customize it as per your choice. If you don't want calls, just tap on the option. If you don't want text messages, everything is right there on that particular screen. The next is the option to tweak the DND mode. And well, this particular option has evolved so much since the first OnePlus device. Unlike the older phones, now you can tweak the DND settings so that it kicks in at a particular time. And to make such changes, go to sounds, do not disturb option and tap on automatically. Next, select sleeping and specify the time and the days. That's it. No online calls or notification alarm to distract you while you're working or taking a nap. The next thing to look out for on your OnePlus 60 is the smart boost option. And well, this particular setting is still in the labs, still in the experimental phase, but you can try it on your OnePlus 60 even without a root access. So to turn this on, go to settings, utilities, and there you'll find the option that says OnePlus Laboratory. And here, there's just one option at the moment that says activate smart boost. Now this feature actually promises a boost in the performance by up to 20% by actually loading the game files onto the RAM rather than your storage device. Moving on, the next option is to hide sensitive apps on your OnePlus 60's default launcher. This hidden space was introduced along with OnePlus 6 to keep apps hidden from the app drop. To access this hidden space, open the app drawer and slide gently from the left edge. To add apps, tap on the plus icon on the top right corner. Now these apps would be hidden from the normal app drawer but then there is no password protection at the moment and you'll need to actually swipe again to the left edge to access these apps. Moving on, the next option is to choose an accent color from that 16 millions of color gamut. Yes, you can actually add the hex code of the color that you want with the dark theme. To make these changes, first of all, you need to make sure that you have activated the dark mode on your OnePlus 60. Once that's done, navigate to display, accent color and tap on the paint icon. You can select the colors, you can enter the hex code of your choice and well, even a small change in that hex code can make a large difference to the color that you have picked. Next trick is easy but really helpful and that is to take screenshot using the finger gestures. Using this gesture, all you need to do is drag three finger down to grab a screenshot. No more business of pressing the power button and the volume rocker button. And to enable it, all you need to do is go to button and gestures, then head over to quick gestures and toggle the switch for the three finger screenshot. Simple as that. 
The next trick every OnePlus 60 user must check out is to lock apps in the memory, actually RAM. Now with 6 GB to 8 GB of RAM, it's really like you don't need to do it, but then just to be double sure if you really want to lock an app to the memory, here's how it's done. Just bring up the recent apps and scroll through the list until you have found the app that you want to lock in the memory, tap on the three dot menu and select the option lock. Well, that's about it and that particular app will stay in the memory even when you have cleared those like rest of the apps forcefully. Moving on, the next option is to tweak the ambient display. Now for the busy millennials, the ambient screen of a phone is more than just convenient. Not only does it let you check notifications without unlocking the device, but you can also see the time and battery levels by just tapping on the screen. However, the best feature is that you can switch between different clock styles and like select a particular clock style of your choice. And to do so, go to display settings, head over to ambient display, clock style, and then choose the one that you would like. Aside from it, don't forget to check the tap the screen option. This one lets you check for messages and notifications when you tap on your screen. Pretty convenient, right? And finally, the last trick is for everybody out there who just hates notch. Yes, even that water drop notch on the OnePlus 60. To hide it, go to the settings, tap on display, notch display and choose the second option. And that's it. Bye bye to the notch. So those were some of the best tips, tricks and features of the OnePlus 60 that you must check out. And well, if you like this video, do give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to Guiding Tech for more such cool videos. And well, that's all in this one and I hope to see you in our next video. Until then, take care and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.